Thank you, Matt Scott. Thanks very much. Everybody, thank you for being here. I am so excited to be up here to uh, honor the newest IHS Spectrum Excellence Award winners. Okay, and there's going to be uh, seven of them that are here tonight that you're going to meet. And uh, it's just very exciting. And it's very exciting, like they said, to be here in D.C., the capital of the United States. It's, it's the center of American history. I had the opportunity yesterday to go down to the mall area, and I was sitting there looking at the monuments, just soaking in all that American history. And, and I sat there, and I was wondering, when do you think they started having American history class? <laughs> right? I mean, probably not like in 1777, right? Like, too soon. But at some point, they started having it. They didn't have it. They started having it. Some important person said, all right, enough stuff has happened. We need a class. All right? People need to be tested on this. All right? So I don't know the answer to that. But I was thinking, when they did start, it probably was pretty easy. All right? I picture the teacher was like, all right, kids, for homework tonight, need to memorize all two presidents. <laughs> Um, all 13 state capitals. Oh, and for extra credit, you can attend one of the battles this weekend. That's <laughs> make sure they, the general sign your form. So, you know. All right, that's a good start. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you, thank you. There's, there's not much more to come. That's good, all right. All right, let's get in, let's start honoring the award winners. You ready? You ready? Yeah. Yes. All right. The first award of the evening goes to one of the world's no. largest. Okay, so uh, that's three down, four to go. Um, I did want to indulge myself for a second. I have something with me I just wanted to share. Um, I want to introduce you to Flat Stanley. <laughs> Raise your hand if you know who Flat Stanley is. Wow, this is going to work. <laughs> um, so. If you don't know who Flat Stanley is, you may be from another country, you just haven't experienced what this is. Uh, my nephew is in elementary school here in the United States, um, and he has an assignment called the Flat Stanley Project. So he needs to draw Flat Stanley and try to get it out to interesting places in the world, get photographs taken, then he has to write about it for his class. So I thought, I'm going to be at the IHS Spectrum Excellence Awards. What an interesting place for Flat Stanley to go. So I, I asked uh, for help earlier. Laura Beer from Chevron, are you here? Do you mind grabbing Flat Stanley? And I've asked the photographer, we're gonna, if everyone would kind of, kind of try to bunch in. Uh, Laura's going to hold Flat Stanley like right here, towards here. You just kind of go out where Carrie is here and face the photographer, Laura. Here, yeah, turn around, Laura. Turn around, Laura. And, and just everyone kind of jump. If you can just kind of smile for Flat Stanley. Hey, this is, hey, this is for my nephew's grade. So can you... Please. Very nice. Very nice. Yes. That is awesome. That is awesome. He is definitely going to get at least a B on this. Um, I do want to mention that um, this kind of project's apparently been around a while. I have three sons that are much older, um, and when they went through having to do the Flat Stanley projects, when my first son had to do it, we were really like enthusiastic about it, and I was going on a business trip to Europe, so I took Flat Stanley with me to Europe, and he, he was photos in Amsterdam and Brussels and Copenhagen, and it was like this elaborate thing. And, okay, and then like a year and a half later, my second son had to do it, and we were like, uh, what a pain. And so, <laughs> so uh, we just kind of mailed it to a friend in Dallas <laughs> and said, just take him to the supermarket or something. And then uh, when my third son had to do it, we were like, forget about it, we just kept him at home. <laughs> and we were like, look, there's Flat Stanley hanging out with the junk mail. That's, there's Flat Stanley in the recycle bin. Okay. So anyway, thank you. You're helping my nephew out. I appreciate it. Go <laughs> back there. All right, shall we continue? All right, our next award. One more award to go. Um, the final award of the evening goes to another leader in the chemical industry. And it, it reminded me that my, my son that's in high school is taking chemistry. And he heard some, some really corny chemistry jokes recently from his teacher. Do you want to hear one? 
You sure? You want to hear one? All right. Okay. I'll, I'll do one, and you'll see if you want another one. Um, so uh, two Adams are walking down the street, and one says, I lost an electron, and the other says, are you sure? And the first one says, yeah, I'm positive. Uh, now, do you want to hear one more? All right, okay. I don't really have more than that, so. So uh, a helium atom walks into a bar, and the bartender says, hey, we don't serve noble gases in here, and the helium atom didn't react at all. Hey, that's... The best in nerdy chemistry humor, right here. All right, let's get back focused on the final award of the evening, shall we? All right, again, our final award of the evening goes to another leader in the chemical industry.